Hi friends, welcome back to PS Desire. In this video, I will show you how to create stunning eyebrows in Photoshop with just a few simple steps. Let's get started with the first step, creating the perfect shape for your eyebrows. Now tell me which is the best tool to create shapes obviously pen tool right now grab that pen tool and start sketching out the shape that matches your vision take your time to get it just right paying attention to every curve and angle until you are happy with the result once you have nailed it right click and select make selection with the selection active it's time to add some color we can add color using hue and saturation adjustment layer apply it to the selection now we don't need that shape layer anymore so feel free to delete it as i said we are going to add colors using hue and saturation but how can we do that simply change the blending mode of the hue and saturation adjustment layer to multiply and immediately you may notice how the blending mode adds depth and richness to the colors giving your eyebrows that extra wow factor now you may wonder how to match colors well open up the hue and saturation property by double clicking it and lower the saturation adjusting it just right until you achieve the ideal balance that suits overall eyebrow color play around with the sliders experiment and trust your artistic eye to create the perfect look and color for your eyebrows now if you ask me why the hell the edges are too sharp this is too sharp for my liking as well so let's smooth things out little bit simply select the layer mask associated with the shape and open the mask properties adjust the feather slider to soften the edges you will see how it seamlessly blends in creating a more natural and polished look perfect now that we have nailed the shape, it's time to fill in those eyebrows to make them bold and beautiful. It's time to create our very own custom brush by taking a sample hair strand from the eyebrow. But how can we create our own custom brush? Well, first let's hide the hue and saturation layer temporary to get a clear view. Now look for the hair that has good high definition. High definition means good quality and good texture. I'm looking for the hair that was single and separated from the group. Uh, uh, there it is, the perfect hair strand that we want to use as our brush. Use the lasso tool, make a rough selection around the hair strand. And don't worry about being too precise at this stage, we will refine it later. Once you have the selection, press Ctrl or Command plus J to create a copy of the selected hair strand on a new layer. Now let's convert this newly created layer into a smart object, double clicking on the smart object icon of the layer to open it in a new document. This will allow us to work on a hair strand in a separate space, giving us more flexibility and control. Here you can refine the selection, adjust the levels or make any other necessary tweaks to get the hair strand looking just right. Now head over to the channels panel and select the channels which has good contrast. Check the three channels which has good contrast but in my experience most of the cases red channel has good contrast. So select red channel. Now we need to duplicate it. I think you guys know how to duplicate the channel. If you don't know simply drag and drop it onto the new channel icon. That's it. Now we need our brush to be more contrast and definition and we can do that using levels. You may ask me why levels because levels allows us to fine tune the gamma values to make the darker areas black and brighter areas white giving our brush more contrast and definition. So go to the adjustments menu and apply levels. With the levels adjustment active adjust the gamma values to your liking. Keeping Keep an eye on the preview to see how it affects the hair strands. You can play around with the slider until you achieve the desired result. Once you are satisfied, click OK. Now we want to refine the brush even further. We want to remove any unwanted things around it. I'm going to use 
white brush with a soft edge to clear out any unnecessary areas. Make the brush strands look like real hair. This will add more authenticity to our custom brush, making it blend seamlessly with the existing eyebrow shape. Looking good so far. Now let's copy the duplicated channel by selecting all Ctrl plus A or Command plus A and then copying Ctrl plus C or Command plus C. Go back to the layers panel and paste the duplicated channel as a new layer Ctrl plus V or Command plus V. This will create a new layer with the copied channel information. Next go to edit, define brush preset, give your brush name a name that reflects its characteristics and click OK to save it as a brush preset. Now you can easily access and use this custom brush in your Photoshop projects. Before we move on, we can delete the duplicated channel layer as it's no longer needed. I always keep the canvas clean and tidy for smooth workflow. Now apply new brush to the eyebrow to fill in with new hair. To fill in with new hair, add a new blank layer to the canvas. But when you start painting, it doesn't quite look right. This is not what we are expecting. It happens because the brush is in default settings. You can easily fine tune those brush settings to perfectly match the natural flow of the eyebrows hairs. But how can we change the brush settings? Well, head over to the brush settings panel and Let's make some adjustments to achieve that flawless look. Set the size jitter to 100%. It will add some variations in brush size. Angle jitter to 4% for a subtle angle variations and adjust the spacing to around 40%. It will create a more realistic brush strokes. Once you are satisfied with the settings, go ahead and close the panel and now you are all set to start painting. Again, there is a one more problem. As you begin to paint, you notice that the direction of the brush strokes isn't quite right. Brush direction is completely opposite to the natural flow of the eyebrow. We need to match the brush strokes direction to the original eyebrow. But how can we change the direction? Well, there is a quick and easy fix. For that, simply hold down the R key on your keyboard to activate the rotate view tool and then rotate the canvas to match the direction of the brush strokes. This allows you to paint with confidence following the natural flow of the eyebrow hairs for a more realistic and convincing results. Before start painting, we need to select the brush color that closely matches the color of the hair for a seamless blend. Now with the perfectly tuned brush settings and the canvas rotated to match the brush direction, you can start painting to fill in the gaps in the eyebrows. Take your time and use light and feathery strokes to mimic the appearance of individual hairs. Pay close attention to the natural flow and shape of the eyebrows as you paint. After finishing painting the hair, you have the flexibility to change the color to your liking by adjusting the saturation slider. I feel that the shape of the eyebrows needs a bit of softening. We can easily achieve that by applying a feather to the layer. Simply go to layer mask and apply a feather of around 20 pixels 
which helps to soften the edges and create a more natural look. And remember, we need to make everything look natural and realistic as possible. We need to soften these painted hair edges as well to enhance the overall realism of the eyebrows. So to do that, you can convert the layer with a painted hair to a smart object. Once it's converted, go to filter menu and choose Gaussian blur. Experiment with different values of the radius to achieve the level of softness. Be sure to strike a balance between softening the edges while still maintaining that natural appearance. Click OK to apply it. And if you ask me how to make eyebrows even thicker, well, you can easily achieve that by duplicating the top layer of the painted eyebrows. Simply press Ctrl or Command plus J. This will create a copy of the layer, effectively doubling the thickness of the eyebrows. You can adjust the opacity or blending mode of the duplicated layer to fine tune the appearance to your liking. And there you have it. Here is before and after. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and enjoyed the process. If you want to stay updated with more exclusive Photoshop tutorials, be sure to subscribe to our PS Desire YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive notifications for our future tips and tricks. Please like, share and comment. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Take care.